Hi everyone, Michelle and Cash from Crafty Servings. <laughs> Very excited to come on today. <laughs> he was laying over there the whole while. And of course, as soon as I sent out that text and sat down, he's right by me, right? Say hi, let me know you're out there. We're gonna do a cute, cute carrot craft that can be left out year round. Perfect for dough bowls, dough bowls. So, um, and you can make any kind of colors, anything you like. So I think it'll be great for year round. Cash, what are you doing? Just hiding under the table. So we're using fabric. We're doing fabric carrots today. I've done fabric carrots for the last two years. Um, these are a little bit different than the ones I normally do. Uh, they're just cute. And like I said, I think they can be left out year round. Uh, they'd be adorable in a kitchen. Um, and I'll give you another idea to throw in with the carrots. So we're also doing a rabbit. So in the same way. All right, let me show you first. So we're doing rabbits and carrots and let me show you the fabrics I have picked out. If um, you're not a fan of this color, you can use other colors, um, whatever could match your kitchen, you can year, use it year round. So these are the fabrics I picked out and I'm gonna show you how you can make them, make cute carrots. We're gonna make one rabbit and we'll leave them out. Um, okay, so here's the fabrics. And you know what would be really, really cute with this? These are all our fabrics. We're using, we're going to make a white rabbit. And what would be really, really adorable with this? What if you would add in, like, say, a yellow lemon doing the same thing? You could do this year round. You could throw this in your kitchen, add different things, do the exact same thing we're doing, only cut out different shapes. So we're using fabric and now I went ahead and sketched. I sketched a carrot and I cut it out. So um, you can use clip art if you want. A carrot is actually pretty simple or you could fold it in half if you want and just do half of it. That's what I do with my rabbit. I do, I started sketching the rabbit and then I'm like, okay, he's a little bit uneven. So I folded him half on the side that I liked and cut him out. So that's how I got my pattern. All right, you, again, you can certainly do clip art. All right, the other thing we're using is fabric tack. So we're using fabric tack, the fabric, and then we're just gonna embellish them a little bit, all right? And, okay, so I already did a couple with these. You'll see them when we're done, when we put them together. We're gonna use this one, just this one makes your eyes go funny. Um, I don't want to do three, that would take a long time because we're going to do a rabbit too. And we're going to do the rabbit in this white. Can you see the pattern? There is a little floral pattern on here that's just really, really cute. Hello, Lola. Well, I'm glad you're looking forward. I hope you all like it. I love how it turned out. I did a couple before just because I, again, I had it in my head and I knew it would work. I just wanted to play with it a little bit just to make sure it would be the way I wanted it. I did not do a rabbit though. So we're going to do a rabbit. All I'm going to do now, fabric comes folded. If you, if you don't shop for, ra for rabbits, if you don't shop for rabbits, <laughs> If you don't shop for fabric, it always comes folded, and usually the good side is on the outside. So keep it folded. And we're just going to pin this rabbit on here. All right. One more. Okay, so we've got the rabbit on here. Um, I think we'll cut that out right away, and then we'll do the carrots. It'll just be easier. All right, all I'm going to do is just cut this out. So we've got the two layers together. And again, just get clip art. If you're not good, if you don't think you're good at drawing a rabbit, use clip art, okay? Um, all right, and we'll go around. All right, and let's just do, get this on. It's, these are so super easy, and I'll show you. We're gonna be using fabric tech. You can certainly use, um, oops, and you want to cut through all layers, that would be helpful. You could certainly use hot glue, which I am going to use for part of it. I'm just going to cut this out. It's going to be a lot easier for me to cut. Otherwise, I could move things around, but I've got everything here. Coloring books, perfect idea to get those patterns. Perfect idea. 
and you want for doing this you certainly want it a little bit wider than what you want it to turn out just a little like and the way we're going we're not turning it inside out it's going to be sort of sort of rustic but you know it's just really going to be pretty uh, but you want it wide enough because you're going to have that glue edge all the way around so you certainly can turn it inside out if you want but I'm going to keep it like this so all right so we're going to do fun with this stripe I think that'll be fun and we're going to do polka dot and I'm going to lay them out all together and cut this carrot all together all right so this was the carrot that I cut out just simple you don't need the greens we're going to add green on with it Okay, and we're just going to lay that on here. I want these, let's see, do I want the stripes sort of slanted? No, I think we're going to do stripes up and down. Or do we want them sideways? Do we want the stripes sideways or do we want them up and down? I think we're going to do these up and down. Th that's really flexible. You could do whatever way you want. All right, let's just pin it. And I'm going through four layers now of cutting just just because you can it makes it quicker you don't have to cut them all separate by having this paper pattern it works great so I honestly am just going to cut a square out it's gonna be easier for me to cut in front of all of you again if I had more room I'd be rotating it around so okay I'm just gonna put that up here up and down yeah I think so too this is gonna be cute 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 and then we just cut it out they go together so quickly and then we add a little bit of cuteness on them again it, whatever shape you you can do this in anything even besides carrots these carrots are really adorable but like I said, you could do this with the yellow fabric and add a lemon in there, add some lemons, add green for limes, just cut out the shape that you like. Surely we are making carrots that can stay out year round. And we're making a rabbit with them. So the rabbit you could take out, but all right. So that was my carrot pattern. Here's my rabbit. I have not tried the rabbit yet, but I'm pretty sure he'll work. We're going to do the rabbit in steps. Let's see. see, there's a little leftover here in that corner for the rabbit. If you don't have pins, use double stick tape on the paper and in between the fabric, and you should be able to peel it back off. Just don't use the permanent kind, but check out the page. Kim's crafting. So we've got two two carrots and a rabbit that we're doing and we're going to go ahead and get started right away so this fabric tack i've used other times it works awesome um it works fast like uh, some of the fabric glues takes a while to set up this doesn't um i just want to clean off my top of my glue here um this doesn't but you can certainly use hot glue too if you want and we're going to use hot glue for the rest of it and all we're going to do to start, and I'm going to start with the bottom. We're going to leave the top open because we're going to stuff it a little bit. All right, and then just press that in. And the reason why I like using this on here is it's also clear. Um, now, you could use this for putting on um, the decorations also, but I think it's a little easier with the Gorilla Glue. So you just have to be a little careful with that glue stick. All right, and then we're just gonna go finish. Look how fast these go together, and it sets up so fast. Now I'm gonna bring this all the way up, almost to the top. We wanna leave the top open because we need room for the greens, and we need room to put some stuffing in. Oh, just put that in. Look at how easy that goes together. All right, let's do this one. Again, I start from the bottom just because it's easy. It's going to be easier stuffing from the top. And this isn't a real thick glue either, so it actually runs really well or comes out really well, I should say. A 
Linda, thank you for welcoming all the newbies. Okay, so again, we left the tops open on there. And let's do the rabbit right away. We're just doing a white rabbit. It would be cute in any colors, but I thought white with these carrots would be really, really cute. All right, the rabbit, I think we're going to start up here. We're going to do in sections. We're going to do the ears first. So you start with the thinner part of what you're stuffing, depending what you're what you're making. I like said I'm doing rabbit. So we're going to do the ears first, and I'm going to do the head, and then we're going to stuff it. I'll leave the body open. It'll be easier to get up to the ears. I always, this stuff does like tend to bubble up <laughs> for some reason. So I'll wipe that part off if it starts drying up there. And this I think this rabbit is going to be really cute and it's just going to be decorated so simple. I'm just going to end up tying a bow on this rabbit. Okay, so we got the ears down. Let's just do the head too. We'll save the body. Okay. And it again, this glue is awesome. It sets up so quickly. What is it called? It's called Fabric Tack. Okay, I'm going to just close this up and I can show you. It's so stringy. <laughs> fabric Tack. You can get this at Walmart. Um, I'm sure you could probably get it at any craft store too. I just love it. I, it Like I said, it works so quickly. Now you can see, I mean, even before this, I could have stuffed these carrots already. I mean, it's it's stuck and it's permanent after 24 hours yeah it's washable even after 24 hours we're not going to wash these but it definitely is washable after 24 hours all right and now we're just going oh before i stuff we're going to decorate a little bit on here i forgot about that i'm going to be using jute i love jute with black and white for some reason that's what makes it country to me um i love rustic i love country that's what's going to do it for me. So we're using jute on here. And I'm just going to line around the outside. I'm going to leave extra up here, but I'm not going to glue all the way because I don't want the chance of that glue going right through here and gluing it together. We need to get in there, okay? So I'm just going to start on this outside again. And now I'm using the hot glue. You have to be a little bit careful with the hot glue. Just You want to use just a thin line. Because if you do it too thick, you're, you might end up seeing that glue. You probably could use the fabric tech too. It's just if you can hand, if, you know, some of it comes out a little fast, but you can certainly use the fabric tech too. And then just push it down. Now, again, I left extra here because we're going to end up, you see that? We're going to end up going back and closing that up when we're, when we're done. But we got to leave room for stuffing and some greens. So I'm just going to go all the way around. See how quick and easy this is putting together? Now, I'm not going to do this on the rabbit. The rabbit, we're going to do just a simple bowl. I just want him simple, simple white with a bowl. Right, and just finish lining this. And I'm just, again, going to just bring it to the top up here. And I'll show you. And actually, I've got this on low temp. So it's not going to be as hot either if you get it on you. Okay, so I left those two open and this is still open to stuff. We're going to do the same on this one. And carrot. Okay, you're answering. Thank you, Rita. All right, so let's just go around. And again, this is a carrot that could be left out year round. Add other things in, like an adobo or something on your kitchen cabinet. Honestly, another idea I just had for these, oh, would be so cute, is you could hang these from strings or ribbons, like hang them on jute and have a bunch of these hanging down like different um, lengths. That would be cute. Like I said, this actually goes really, really quick. 
you, you could really knock out all of them that you need in an afternoon. Not even an afternoon. Sit down and just play with it. You could do this with kids too. You know, if you're using that fabric tack, you know, you probably help them a little bit with it so they don't get too much, but you certainly could do things with the kids. All right, and we'll cut this one off. Okay, so we're ready for stuffing. I just have polyfill, just cheap polyfill, and I like to break it apart a little. It'll also help for when we put the greenery in here because the greenery is going to go all the way down in there. Open up, and if you leave a big enough opening, you'll be able to just use your fingers to stuff it all the way down in there. It was thought I could hop on. Yeah. All right, now I don't want to overstuff them. You can see how I've got them. I think that's actually probably enough. All right, so this one, I love this one too. And you can do both sides if you want, um, but if you're laying them in a bowl, one side is good. Or if, like I said, hanging them different lengths on a string, that'd be really, really cute. All right, let's start stuffing this little guy here. Still snowing, Rita, and where are you, Rita? Remind me where you are. Oh, good. I thought I shut the head of my rabbit. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. Okay, now I do have a stick here that I think will help get it down into the ears. You maybe could even start not even doing the head and just do the ears first. Stick ain't working. It's all right, Elaine. You can be late. Oh, I have a whole bunch of stars up there. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it so much. And look at how that fabric tack really held because I'm really sticking my finger in there. Um, it still isn't going all the way in. So like I said, you probably do the ears for there that's cute oh he just let loose because i really stuffed some stuff in there we're going to re-glue that part add a little more fabric tag and i'm just talking about how good this is it is really good like i said after 24 hours you can wash it it was just because i i have quite a bit in here let me even get my finger on it. I had quite a bit on there. I think I'm even going to do it with hot glue just to get that quick stick. Hi, Anne. Welcome. I'll just add a little more of this. I'll be more careful on the other side. Oh, there I got it. Okay. We'll be more careful now. And like I said, maybe you're going to be better off doing um, just gluing the ears and not the head yet. Because then you can really adjust what you're doing. And I wonder, can I even lift this up? Oh, it's pretty stuck. <laughs> Yeah, and I love the spring crafts too. I'm ready to do them. Um... Try and get that in there. I don't want a lot of stuffing, and I think I almost got too much in that other ear. I like that. It's can you see the difference? That one's fat. This one's a little skinnier. I think we're gonna just pull a little out of this one. A pencil eraser would that probably work easier, right? Just gonna pull some out of this one. Just so it's not as fat. There we go. Now let's stuff some of this head. 
and you don't need a lot. Just make it cute. All right, and then let's finish gluing. Again, this is fabric tack. If you're hopping on, hopping on late, got it? If you're hopping on late, this is fabric tack. <laughs> I couldn't have thought of that if I tried to. That was an accident. Around the outside. Lay it down. All right. We're just going with the set just for a minute. And then stuff. It doesn't, honestly, this does not take long to set up. So I'll just push on it and say, yes, 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 eraser. That probably would work better. But like I said, even if you just started with the ears and didn't do the whole head, then you're, you're right there and able to get it in too. And we should be good. This rabbit is just going to be so easy to decorate. We're not going to put a lot on it. Still snowing in Michigan. We, we just didn't get it. It all went south. It all went south. Okay, you want to make sure you get some up in that neck. You don't need much of this at all. Just a tiny little bag is all you'd have to get if you don't have any on hand because you won't. So there, look at how cute he is. I think that's plenty of stuffing. We don't need any more than that. So we're just going to glue that shut now. Just rainy in Pennsylvania. So it's just, it's beautiful sunshine here today, but oh, so cold. Very, very cold. Oh, I got a whole bunch on my fingers just now. I hope it comes off easily while I'm sitting here. It actually does. Awesome. You like this one, Becky? Good. All right, isn't he just cute? So, and again, that's bubbling up. We're just gonna put that up there. All right, we're oh, we're almost done with the fabric tech. We have to finish up our carrots yet. Okay, you want to see the greens that I have? So you, there's so many options you can use for greens. I've used greens um, in the last few, few couple. I did two other care crafts. The one carrot, um, well, actually, I did probably three. One of them, I just used some of these. This is just from a long hanging fern thing. I've had it forever, and there's a lot downstairs for it. You could, um, I use this on one of them which I mean, that is gorgeous. That's from Hobby Lobby. It's very expensive. Get it when it's half off. Okay. It's very expensive. Um, I got it last year, but you get so much in it. It's some kind of fern. You can also get, this is from Joann's. I use this on a different rabbit craft, you know, and you just cut them off, but I'll show you what I'm using. I love, so you could use like this. This is also um, Hobby Lobby. You could use that. But this is the picks in Hobby Lobby. Look at these. And I love this light color with this. I think that'll look really cute. Oh, I have so much glue on my fingers right now. <laughs> so much glue. All right, so we got to put this down in there before we seal it up. But aren't these fun? They're fun. And they're just about the perfect size to fit in there for the size carrot that I made. Okay, so, and this is because it's going to be just a little long. I don't want it to poke, have the chance of poking out the bottom. 
I'm going to just cut this just, it, it honestly is a little bit. For the size carrot I'm using, I'm just cutting off a little end here. I do want it to go down sort of far because it's got to stay in. <laughs> it's got to stay in the carrot. So you do want some of a stem. All right, let's... And because I really it it I didn't stuff it real full and I really spread that filling out, I can like sort of turn this and just work its way down in there so that it's not moving that stuffing all over the place. Cute, cute, cute. And then we're just gonna glue this together and start with the back the front of the fern won't glue yet but we can get this back part glued together and there's glue then on this back of the fern and I'm going to add a little to the front yet okay okay just going to be a little careful okay and we just close that that gap in the front is that cute we're going to just Add a little decoration on the front of there, and that's going to be ready. Do you like these toppers? Again, these are from Hobby Lobby. They're they're I believe they're a dollar ninety nine. They're in the picks section, so where all the picks are, that's where these are. And there's also some that are a different color. I just really really liked with this lighter color um, with this black. Just to add that glue back here again. Make sure your green is centered too when you're doing that. Thanks, Colleen. Hi, Vicki. Thanks, Eileen. And then we're just going to add that little bit to the front of that green too to hold it in place. I'm just going to trim some of this jute already. Hi, Mary. Thank you, Carol, for passing me on. If you like what I do, please go ahead and sprinkle me on. I appreciate that. All right, so much mess here. I do see the other ones I did with the other fabric, too. We're almost ready to show you. We're going to just finish decorating on here. You just saw me before I came on. If you watch my page for a while, I am starting to itch again. Um, if you watch my page for a while, you know, I feel like I'm sort of allergic to jute, but I love using it. And I start itching. And I was just sneezing like crazy before I, when I came on. So I hope that don't start now. Doesn't always happen. I don't know the rhyme or reason. Okay, look at how cute, 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 right? Let's just add a little decoration to them. All right, so I want to introduce a little orange into it. Now, if, like I said, do this, like cut out like a lemon shape or a lime shape, and um, you can introduce color into this and keep it year round. So even this is perfect year round, but we're going to introduce a little orange to just to, if you're doing something in the kitchen that's a yellow kitchen, use some yellow ribbon. But we're going to do a little bit. I have these little ribbons. We have some black polka dot. We have some black stripe. And we have just some, some white. But we're going to do little ribbons. Oh, I'm really itching here. All right. We're going to do little ribbons on them. And I'm going to do two different ones. So let's, um, they don't have to be big ribbons either. Yeah, they don't have to be big ribbons. So I'm going to, of the colored ribbons, I'm going to do three of each color. And so the checkerboard or this gingham check, that's going to be for one. And then this is going to be for the other one. But you can use any colors again. Introduce them to the colors that are in your kitchen. Introduce them, yeah. Say, hello, kitchen. This is what color I want to use. 
All right, and we're going to use a polka dot. Oh, I think we're going to use the polka dot with the gingham on this one. That'll be really cute, right? So we're going to do three of that one also. Wipe your hands off with a wet wipe. I, but I don't have any by me. <laughs> I don't have any by me. I should do that, right? Okay, see me going. That's what Jude does to me. Um, you could also use raffia in this. That would be really cute. I love the jute with the black and white. I really, really do. All right, so we're going to do... So this one was polka dot, so I thought I would use that. So we got them, and then we're going to just add a little white in with it. And I'll just do a couple of them. And then I'll show you. Now, when you're using little ribbon like this, you don't necessarily see all the ribbon. I'm going to show you how to keep it spread apart so that you can see all those little colors in there. Okay, so, and then I'm going to take two little pieces of jute just for my ties. And then guess what we're going to put on top of them. Do you know? Do you know what I'm going to put on top of these bows? I need to get more material. And you know what? This, you could get, I so I picked up a half a yard of some of these and some I had here, but um, you could get away with a quarter of a yard with some of these. I mean, it, it really, it depends how big you want to make your carrots or how many you want to make. All right, so I'm going to start with the orange on bottom because I don't want a lot of orange on the top. We're going to start with it on the bottom. A button, of course, we're going to do a button. All right, so I'm going to start with the orange on the bottom, and I'm just going to do a little bit of X stuff, not, not too much. But then, so we've got all three of them like that. And then we're going to add in my, my white. And then we're going to add in the black. So I'm just doing like the X, but when you've got three of them, it's not really an X. Okay, like that. And just scrunch that together a little bit. And then we're going to tie that with the jute. And I like to wrap it around a couple times just to hold it in place so you don't have to try and hold it when it's upside down here. So this is like a refab bow. If you know what refab bow is, I would guess you know what a refab bow is. And we just tie it in a knot. Okay, and this actually stayed spread apart pretty good, but the orange, you know, you don't see the orange as much. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to spread that out. And because there's no wire, it's not going to stay out there as well. We're just going to take a little bit of glue, just a little glue down inside of there. And that's going to keep those three apart. Okay, and then we're going to take a little glue in between, below that white in be and on top of that white so that we can get that white one sort of spread out. My white one's being temperamental. Let's add a little more glue on that one. You don't need a lot, and it just has to be down by the ridges. Okay, and the black actually stayed spread apart, but I'm going to put some glue on this black just to control it. And then it, that keeps it sort of the way you like it, especially when you don't have the wires. When you have the wires, you don't have to do that as much. But look at how that's on top of each other. Um, spread it out and then just drop those drops of glue in there. Thank you, Debbie, for passing me on. Hello, Debbie. Do the same for the white, and I'm going to put it in between the white, too, just to try and spread that out. And just put it, like, right down in there. Don't, um, 
You don't want to wait outside because then it's not floppy. Thanks for all those hearts. I appreciate that. And let me just picture, I'm just seeing what will look best with this bow too, because you don't want to take one that's over here and pull the other one. You'll see, you, you get it with the bows. All right, let's just add that in, a little there. There you go. Okay, and if one happens to be a little long, you just trim it up a little. There, isn't that cute? And then cut off that jute, because we don't need to see that. Oh, that, that was only one of them. I was thinking I had them both done already. And let's just do the other one again. I'm gonna do the orange in the back. Oh, my fingers are so full of glue. Do you hate that when you have stuff on your fingers? So again, I'm gonna do the orange in the back. We're gonna do the white. And then the black on top. I first found you alive. How did you make the carrots? Berta, I cut the carrots out with, I first of all, I drew a carrot on a paper this shape. And I cut them out of fabric. I cut two of them, glued the fabric together and stuffed it. it left the top open, just added a little jute, added some green. So otherwise catch, you know, go back and catch the replay. And yeah, it was really easy. And we did a rabbit the same way. I forgot I got to decorate up that rabbit too. The rabbit's not going to take much though. We're not putting much on it. I should do two of them. Okay. So again, I just want these to stay a little separated. So we're adding that glue in there. Just keeps them nice and separated. This one actually seemed to stay a little more separated than the other one already. So, okay, and then just pull those where you want them. This one's cute too. All right, so just spread them apart again. We're gonna do the white right away too. So yeah, again, if you have ribbon that is being temperamental, just drop little spots of glue down in there and spread it out before it dries. There's the other one. We're going to put that one on there. Let's see, we're going to do the polka dot on top of there, and we'll do this one on here like that. All right. We're almost done, almost done. Now I'll show you the other two I made. And I'll show you putting them on a dough bowl or in a dough bowl. This is just cute, cute, cute. Cold in Texas, 22 degrees. I would never picture that in Texas. I know you've gotten that sometimes. I, I've seen it on the news, but let's put this one on here. And then we'll pick out a couple buttons. You'll see some of the ideas I have. All right. So I pulled out some already so I don't have to try and sort through all my buttons. Now I have just some really cute ones that would work. And look, now this isn't even a button, but this was from a bracelet that broke apart of mine. That would be actually really cute on here too, right? That would be really cute. We can leave that out. I have like these polka dot buttons. I think that's a little much for on there. Um, even if you go with the natural color again that, you know, I always like. That would be really cute on here because you got the natural jute that pulls in the jute color. I'll leave that one out just in case. 
Um, you could put like little flowers on. Uh, let me see. You could put some silver on there. That would be really cute too. You see that? How cute that would be. Um, and then how about how about that? That'd be cute too. So that one I did use on a different one. Or you could add gold in. Just depends upon what kind of theme you're going with. Um, I have the little black flowers too. That would actually be really cute too. So let me, I think we're going to do... We're going to do this one on that carrot. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. I do see them laid in a dough bowl that I got sitting. I got a dough bowl sitting over here. I do see them laid in there with that rabbit, too. They'll be really cute in there. All right, so we either could use this silver one. I sort of like this one because it has that black background. I think I'm going to use that. And again, this was a broken bracelet. You can see there's holes where it all went in. It, it was a really cute bracelet, too. I just never fixed it, and I thought, well, I can use this. So that's what we're going to use on this one. Look at that one. All right, and let's just finish up this little rabbit. All I'm going to do on this little rabbit, I don't think I'm even going to do a bow on it because I don't want it to stand out that much. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take my jute, I think we're just gonna do a little a little bowl with the jute. Now I want the bow to lay sort of nice, so first I'm just gonna tie it. And then I'm gonna tie a little knot again. And you know, if you try making that bow right on here now, I think that bow would go all over weird. I'm not even going to separate my jute today. Okay, I just want that on there. And then we're going to cut those ends off, I think. But now what I'm going to do is make a bow the way I normally do. So I have it down. I actually do. I want to use the thin. You know what? We're going to use the little bit thinner jute, I think. And I'm just going to tie it on here first, and then I'm going to make another bow and put it on top. Because when you tie a bow, like on top of this, then it likes to go all different ways, and I don't like that. So let's just cut a piece we're going to tie it with. All right, and then so we're going to go have the string start down and wrap it around your fingers. If you want it a little wider, spread your fingers farther apart, or if you want it smaller, maybe use two fingers. And then you end the other one up. I think we're going to do three times around. And you just pull it off your fingers and you have that nice little bowl. And we're going to tie it just like we did the ribbons. Wrap it around first. And tie. Okay. And we'll just cut them a little bit. Um, I can leave these here too. So we're going to have like four, four ends. But this one I'm going to cut off. Just going to put that on there. Cute, cute, cute. Now you could add a little color in it if you wanted. I don't want to take too much away from that bunny though. And I added the color in with the carrots. Okay, so we'll just hold this on here. Yes, perfect way to use up scraps. Look at, and we could even add, so I don't know, these buttons I think are a little big, and I don't have, I don't know that we need a button on here. I don't want to take too much away from him, right? All right, let's get my dough bowl up here. I'm not very good with dough bowls. I'll tell you that, but I have one. 
Let me show the other two that I had done earlier. So these were the other fabrics that I used. And then the only fabric I didn't do one yet was this one that I had. So that one I could always do. But so we got these cute, cute um, carrots that can stay out year round. And you add, add, add other things in. So this is what would make it maybe for um, Easter. But add in lemons, make lemon the same way. And you know, make it to match your kitchen, limes. All right, here's my dough bowl, just so this stuff doesn't come out. All right, and this I made last year on Alive. I just added moss in there. Oh, and it actually was one of those nests, and I added some pine cones and little pine cones, and it was just a fun little, just some green. It was all fake stuff. This is just a little wreath. Tuck that in there. But I think we take that off now. We're going to take that off. That's more like Christmassy, but we've got the snowman in here yet. I usually put that behind there to hold the stillman up. So we could take that off and start layering in. I love the greens yet. I love having that behind there. Maybe add these in there. Add that little bunny up there. Look at how cute they are. Do you like that? So and you can adjust it. Like I said, I'm not good with dough bowls, but look at how cute that would be in a dough bowl with those carrots and add that little bunny in there. Um, add multiple bunnies or if you have a bigger bowl. So they're just cute, cute, cute. So and if you want to see all of them, we could even peek the bunny up here. I said, I'm not a floral designer, but we could peek that bunny out of there. Then you see all the carrots, too. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Thanks, June. So, my carrots and my bunnies. Easy, easy, easy to do. I'm glad y'all like them. So, all right. And the other idea I had, remember where I said, too, just put ties on them, like hang that jute on and hang them at different lengths and let them just hang like all on a tie like this. You could, you could put them together on a board even or something, but you know, put the ties on and then have a rabbit hanging down from them. You could do so many different things with them. I love these little rabbits. They're just so easy. Um, just make, just make them whatever fabrics you want, but these picks were just so cute with it. I love how that turned out, but you could use any greens with them. So, all right, y'all have a really good one, and I hope I'll be on really soon.